Hi, this is Katie with KHB Office. Tonight, I'm going to show you how you close your books and lock them in QuickBooks Online and in QuickBooks Desktop. If you have questions, you can always join our Facebook group. You can email help at khboffice.com or you can call 980-210-6946. Any of us would love to help you. You need to lock your books for a number of reasons. You can keep from accidentally entering or modifying transactions in a previous period. You can stop others from accidentally entering or modifying transactions in the previous period. And you can signal that the previous period is closed, such as right now when everyone is doing taxes. Once you complete your taxes, you can go ahead and close your books and lock them. So with that being said, let's go ahead and cut over into QuickBooks Desktop first. In QuickBooks Desktop, the process is very easy. You just go up to Edit, you go to Preferences, you click on Accounting, and then the global selection is Company Preferences. And then right here you see Closing Date, date through which the books are closed. We're going to go ahead and set that password. Okay? You can elect to exclude estimates, sales orders, and purchase orders since these uh, types of transactions are actually non-posting. If you would like, you can elect to have a closing date password, which I really recommend. It's easy if you get the warning to go ahead and actually click past it. So I do recommend having the closing date password. You just hit OK. In this case, it's telling me I don't have an admin password, so I'm going to close out of that because this is a sample file. Then we're going to go ahead and move over into QuickBooks Online. In this case, you're just going to want to click on your gear. Select Account and Settings, select Advanced, click the pencil next to close the books, change the date on the books, and you can elect to either allow changes after viewing a warning or allow changes after viewing a warning and entering a password. I recommend the second one. Make sure that you select Enter a Password and you keep the password safe. Hit Save, hit Done, and there you go. Your books are locked. If I was to accidentally enter an expense for the previous year at this time, I'm going to go ahead and write an expense for Computers by Jenny, and I'm changing the date to last year because I don't know about you, but I am still putting 2018 on things, and it's just as easy to type it. So let me go ahead and put this to Computer Repairs. Enter $100, and let's go ahead and save it. It's telling me to double check my transaction date. If I'd elected to have a password on this, it wouldn't let me go any further unless I knew the password. But in this case, it's just giving me a warning. No, I don't want to save it because I did not mean to put 2018 on there. I can get back in my transaction and put the correct date. That's it. It's easy as pie. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for listening.